Johnny Depp, upon hearing the news, he's in he's on the other side of the pond in the UK, right? He's Rocking playing out. in his band, doing Rockstar. his thing. He writes this. I think he tweeted it. Um, or Instagram. Or possibly. He put it on Instagram. social media. Yeah. Yeah. And he wrote, Six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me were forever changed. All in the blink of an eye. False. Very serious and criminal allegations were levied at me via the media, which triggered an endless barrage of hateful content, although no charges were ever brought against me. It had already traveled around the world twice within a nanosecond, and it had been a seismic impact on my life and my career. Depp goes on. And now six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. Scroll down if you would, Kelly. He then goes on to say, my decision to pursue this case, knowing very well the height of the legal hurdles that I would be facing and the inevitable worldwide spectacle into my life, and it has been a spectacle, was only made after considerable thought. Meaning he was like, do I want to do this? Yeah, he doesn't need the money. You don't need the money. From the very beginning, the goal was bringing this case to reveal the truth and nothing but the truth regardless of the outcome. Speaking the truth was something that I owed to my children and to all those who have remained steadfast in their support of me. I feel at peace knowing that I have finally accomplished that. I am, I and I have been, overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and colossal support and kindness from around the world. I hope that my quest to have the truth be told will have helped others, men or women, he was very important about that, men or women, who have, been, who have found themselves in my situation and in those supporting them never give up. I also hope that the position will now return to innocent until proven guilty both within the courts and in the media. He's basically calling out cancel culture right there, which Mm -hmm. we'll talk about in a second. He concludes with this. I wish to acknowledge the noble work of the judge, the jurors, the court staff, and the sheriffs who have sacrificed their own time to get to this point and to my diligent and unwavering legal team who did an extraordinary job in helping me to share the truth. The best is yet to come, and a new chapter has finally begun scroll down and then he yeah. writes in latin veritas numquan perth we just Perth-ish. lost truth, it which meant truth never perishes truth never perishes hey. love johnny yes fuck you ever. Pir- pirates of the caribbean coming next year like, yeah, exactly. just, yeah, drop it promoted that let's so, go classy response i'm yeah. sure that's been crafted for weeks in advance uh, Vinny, your thoughts on this, this I, response? I, I mean, I eloquently put, I mean, obviously his lawyer, the, the lawyers obviously, I mean, put all that. I'm pretty sure he puts his two cents in. But, bro, I understand toxic relationships. I've been, I've been in, I'm 44 years old, I've been in, I've been in a few. I, I, the, the, the level of where these people are at and the motives and the money and the, fa- bro, you, nobody, you don't understand. None of us understand. Even if you have rich and famous friends, which we do, that are out there, you don't understand the level of this. But, I, and I get what you were saying. It's you know he, his lawyers are probably way more expensive and better, and you know it's 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 a it's a kind of catch twenty two. But when it comes to the character of this guy, bro, I was telling Natalia and Kelly this outside, bro. This guy is such a G. He would dress up as Jack Sparrow and go on multiple occasions to children's hospitals of kids that had cancer, bro. Mm. I get choked. It was like just a great to get into that this and travel around and do it, bro. Like. I feel I feel for him. I understand that the pain and stuff he went through. I 100 percent believe that him and her were drunk and probably hit each other, which I, I do not condone. You know, guys hitting girls. But dude, you ever been in a moment where she's hitting you and you got to fight her off and you got to hold it? It's it's. I, I can only imagine. But I mean, I'm I'm team I'm team Johnny and I'm just happy that you know what I'm saying guys finally got a fucking victory, bro. We finally got just one time where I even feel weird celebrating to be like. Yay, Team Johnny! Man. Yeah, we got it. We, you know, believe all women. She, she's, she's hurt the believe all women movement, which kind of shows you that you can't believe every single. Yeah, woman. believe all women. You, How I mean, that's a slippery slope, you, right yeah, there. Yeah, you can't say every pizza is good because I eat some <laughs> shitty pizza. I love pizza. Even yeah. bad pizza is good pizza. Exactly. Uh, Natalia, do you want to respond to what Johnny had to say? Um, I think this was the first. Um, I guess thing that he was able to put together that really connected, I guess, his audience with how he was feeling. I think this was a really good message. I think it was a great way for him to like end the trial. 
um, I feel like you read this and you can feel somebody's sense of like peace. Like this is finally done. Mm -hmm. You know, like this has not affected just me. It's affected my life, my family. So I think it was a very well put together message. And um, I think it was a very classy way to end his trial with mm -hmm. what's going on.